Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to my car. I think this is like the first video I've done solely in my car, just here. So hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna be telling you guys what my post-show game plan is, what are my plans post-show. I've been asked this quite a bit, and I thought it would be a good idea to just make a whole video, tell you guys what my plans are, how I am going to reverse diet out of the show, and what I'm going to be focusing on. What my basically what my plan is, right? I thought we would just sit down. I tell you what what is my plan. So yeah, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Click the bell button because I'm making videos on weight loss and my weight loss journey. I've lost 120 pounds myself. I am competing in four weeks i'm currently four weeks out today guys on my days i'm competing four weeks in my first ever bikini competition i will be competing in the bikini category and the transformation category so exciting times i'm sharing my journey to the stage and yes i will be vlogging the day i'm going to be vlogging peak week my first ever peak week is coming up in three weeks how crazy i will be vlogging that and i'll be vlogging before the show like getting ready i will vlog backstage as much as i can i'm gonna film myself on stage obviously i'm not gonna film it but, you know, friends and family are going to film me. And I'm going to put it all in a vlog. So you guys will see the final package, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. I probably will be purchasing stage footage as well. So hopefully we can get like a higher quality video. So yeah, if, if that's something that interests you, you want to see what it's like from a perspective of someone who isn't a bikini... Com well, I'm technically a bikini... Now. <laughs> if i don't touch that myself if you want to see it from a prescript uh, perspective of you know someone that has just lost a lot of weight and then is competing for the first time ever then yeah consider subscribing click the bell button but yeah like i said guys i'm four weeks out and it's crazy because they say four weeks before the show and four weeks after the show is like the hardest so here we are how i'll give you guys a quick update before i go into what my post-show game plan is on how i'm feeling and just how prep is going so i'm currently feeling i'm feeling good like i don't feel like rubbish at the minute but i have noticed that after i train in the morning so i have energy in the when i wake up in the morning obviously i've refreshed and re recharged for my sleep which my sleep is actually pretty good still and i can go and train but then after i train i'm like oh i run out of energy a bit and i notice when i try and do my posing after uh it just takes a lot more energy out of me it takes a little bit more of that push uh by the afternoon i need a cup of coffee because i'm running out of energy and it's just the energy part I started to notice I'm a lot more tired. I've noticed my knee is reduced. Like I am procrastinating to get up for things like going for a wee. Getting up for going for a wee is just effort. <laughs> but other than that, like it's all good. I the hunger wise, I actually have gone past the point of being hungry. Like when I first started getting into you know my calorie deficit, I was getting hungry before meals and stuff. But now it's kind of like. I I am I do get hungry but it doesn't really bother me like I'm just kind of used to with it now because I've been like in prep now for eight weeks I've been eight weeks in prep eight weeks so I'm kind of getting used to it now that's not the issue it is more just the energy wise and being a mum at the same time obviously I can't just solely focus on prep I'm still a mum I've still got to do my jobs around the house I've still got to take care of the kids that is like what I'm finding the most difficult is trying to still balance my whole me being a mum at the same time and it can you I can get a bit of mum guilt at the same time because I am focusing so much on my prep I do have had like little cries here and there where I'm like feel quite guilty about it but we've only got four weeks left it'll all be worth it it's gonna be worth it just to get up on that stage and bring my best so first four weeks after the show it's probably gonna be the hardest because there, you've been dieting for so long and like the difference between prep and like a normal diet like dieting just for weight loss is you push your body past where you would normally so I'm going to see my body at a level of leanness that I would, wouldn't would otherwise have seen it so I've never in my life had abs but I'm starting to see abs like little things like that like I'm seeing my body in a way that I've never seen it before and I've spoken to so many people who have done shows and they say that seeing yourself like once you see yourself like that you can't unsee it and anything after that is almost like you're just never satisfied you just want that physique but it's that the 
the struggle with it is that physique isn't sustainable. What you do to get to stage isn't sustainable. Getting to low levels of body fat, having low energy, and I'm sure I'm going to experience a lot more struggles throughout these next four weeks. That is just is not sustainable so you can't sustain that level of body fat you can't sustain that physique for a long period of time it's not healthy to so it can be difficult mentally to see your body at higher body fat after after that so I know I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for that that I I'm going to have to obviously gain body fat and I've got to do it in a way that is slow so that you can there's so many ways to deal with post show you can do the show and then just go back to eating how you was before and you'll gain body fat really quickly if you're okay with that then that's fine but for a lot of people when they gain so much weight in such a short period of time they can cause like body dysmorphia and just negative body image issues like bad mental health i'm sure so I don't want to do that. And then another way is to slowly reverse diet out, slowly gain body fat. And it can be really hard post-show because you're really hungry. You've not got a lot of energy and you don't have that determination and focus for that little that goal that you have uh, of stepping on stage. So it's like you have to just, is a lot more, I can imagine it's a lot more hard work. So yeah, but I do actually have two weeks after the show, I have a brand shoot with the lady who has made my bikini. So I have to actually, I have that as a goal two weeks later, because you're not allowed to come with like extra fluff. You have to kind of be basically stage ready and you have to have your hair, makeup, tan, everything like as if you were stepping on stage for the shoot so I do have that to kind of keep me focused for the next two weeks after so I do have that that is I'm quite grateful for that I have that because that can keep me focused so yeah my plan is to slowly reverse diet out of the show and bring my calories up after the show yes we're gonna go out either on the day or the day after we're gonna go out and celebrate and get some food and I'm gonna eat and I'm not going to track my calories for that day or weekend. So my show is on the Saturday and it's probably going to run quite late. So it probably won't be that night. And then the Sunday, I will just eat whatever I want. My coach has said, I want you to go out and enjoy a burger if you want to enjoy a burger. Go and enjoy donuts if you want. Just that day. And then basically from the Monday, I am going to track my calories again. And I'm going to increase it from what it was peak week. And the thing is, I'm not going to come on here and say what calories I'm going to be on because I don't know. Like at the minute, I'm currently on 1,570. My calories got reduced this week by only 30 calories. And yeah, but my calories will be dropping again this week. So happy days looking forward to it but it's the last final push i'll be fine it's the last final push so but yeah i don't know what my calories will be peak week and i don't know exactly what my calories will be moved to after but it's going to be like low calorie still i'm not going to be able to just jump straight up to maintenance because i need to find where my maintenance is my new maintenance because it's going to be lower than what it was before because i'm in a smaller body as well so it it just i'm going to have to slowly find my maintenance and I also want to stay relatively lean for the, the shoot so for example I might go to like 1600 calories from the Monday after show weekend and then the week after increase that by like one or two hundred calories and then see what my weight is doing and like gradually gain weight gain body fat maybe like a couple of pounds a week but nothing crazy like I'm not going to be trying to gain like 10 pounds you know what I mean I'm going to slowly add pounds until I'm at a healthy body fat that I feel good at but I also look good at I still want to look good I don't want to like just gain so much body fat that I feel bad about myself I want to gain it and get to a point where I'm happy where I, with what I look like in the mirror but I'm also got enough energy I've got enough food I'm training you know what I mean and seeing that is easier said than done but I have a game plan guys my game plan is Instead of focusing solely on what I look like and what my body fat is and all that stuff, instead of focusing just on that, I'm going to start focusing on like training. So fueling my body for training. I want to hit some personal best. I want to hit 80 kilograms on my squat. I want to start deadlifting 90 kilograms for reps. So like for at least eight reps. I want to increase my bench press. So at the minute I'm bench pressing 30 kilograms. I want to move that up to 35, 40. Like I want to build strength. So I'm going to be focusing on that and I'm going to use that as my goal because I'm sure like after I finish show, it's like I've been focusing on a goal for so long that I've heard and from 
people I've spoken to is that you can almost feel lost like okay so now what do I do and that can be really demotivating and it, a lot of people can almost lose their love for fitness a while for a while and struggle so I want to still have a goal so that will be my goal I'm going to focus on strength gains um and fueling my body for that and then food wise to keep me kind of what well, I'm actually food wise I'm really excited because I during prep I'm eating basically the same things I'm happy in the sense that I'm not following a strict meal plan so I'm just checking my my things after I'm going to go to do posing but um I'm waiting for the studio to open I'm lucky the fact that I'm not following a strict meal plan I have the flexibility of fitting it in with my macros I'm making healthy choices I'm not just that if it fits your macros and eat junk kind of I'm not doing it like that I'm eating whole foods and I'm just adding bits to make it more enjoyable like you know like my skinny fuko stuff and all that stuff so I'm enjoying what I eat so I don't feel restricted and I think that's a good way of going about it because I feel like if I was to follow a strict meal plan that was the same foods over and over and over again I didn't have any choice to change it up or anything I feel like that would make me go off on a massive massive binge after show and I feel like a lot of bikini competitors do develop like eds and and stuff like that because they have been so restricted and i'm also quite lucky in the sense that my calories i i start i was at a good starting point i started my prep at like 3000 calories and i gradually decreased them down i didn't massively drop we literally dropped by like 100 calories 100 calories and it's been a very gradual like weight loss like fat loss i have on my prep lost an average about a pound a week it's nothing crazy i've not gone into a massive deficit whereas a lot of coaches do put their bikini competitors on a massive deficit and by show they're eating like 500 calories or something crazy like that so i'm lucky that i'm not doing it like that and i think that is working to my advantage for after the show because hopefully i shouldn't be in that binge mentality after the show and i'm not doing hours and hours of cardio a day i actually am not doing any extra cardio i have increased my steps to around 15,000 14 15,000 and i'm not having any added extra cardio i spoke to my coach i said do you want me to do extra cardio and he's like you're active enough as it is and where i'm a mum and i'm busy i genuinely don't have that extra time so we are using you have tools for fat loss. You can increase cardio, decrease calories. And for what's working for me is decreasing the calories. And I go for my walks. I'm very active. I could use the time where I go for my hour walk in the evening to go to the gym and do an hour of cardio. But it's the same kind of thing. And if I'm enjoying my walks and it's working for me, I'm losing fat. It's steady state cardio. Walking is steady state cardio. So I'm happy with that. I feel like the way I'm going about it is as healthy as possible. And I say that in like, you know, healthy as possible. Obviously getting to this low of body fat that I will be at on stage isn't necessarily healthy. But you know what I mean? I'm doing it as healthily as possible and as least restrictive to me as possible. So I think that's helping me post-show. But as I was saying, even though I am doing it like this, I am finding it difficult to fit foods that I crave in my macros because I am only on 15, 1,570 calories. I'm on a specific amount of like macros that if I feel for a plate of homemade chips, you know, the ones where I cut up in uh, chips and stuff, I'm finding it kind of difficult to fit everything I crave in. Obviously, there is some form of restriction there. And I am just looking forward to after the show not worrying so much about macros i will track my protein i'll make sure i'm hitting a pound a gram of protein protein per pound of body weight and i'll make sure i'm hitting enough fats but as for everything else like carbs and stuff i'm just going to eat what i want and i'm like really looking forward to that like just going back to having more flexibility and what my plan is it, to make it more fun is i'm going to be making i've got greg's cookbooks i've got his anabolic cookbook i've got the meatless cookbook i've got all of those cookbooks so i'm going to be making loads of recipes from there and just like having fun with it going back to having fun with what i eat fitting it within my calories of course but just having that flexibility and my other plan is if i do crave a donut or a pizza i will just have it i'm not going to restrict myself so even up to the shoot if i want to go out for a meal i will go out for a meal and i'll fit it within my calories so yeah i'm just looking forward to being able to be a little bit more flexible with my diet and just 
train for like strength and get stronger in the gym again I love training that hard and yeah like it would just be nice to be able to be fueled and train my workout like train and just start lifting heavier again as for post the week post show so the like literally straight away after show we're gonna take like a deload week so I'll go gym and train still but literally light weights and more of like just getting a pump just to let my body like recover after the show and then I was also speaking to my coach and he was telling me he just wants me to have fun after the show so I'm gonna start going to like the classes at the gym like the cycle class I'm gonna start doing them again just kind of moving he said just stay active but have fun so go and do like classes at the gym so the spin class which I'm really looking forward to doing I love the spin class I'm gonna do some boot camp classes just kind of have fun with it you know what I mean just focus on just getting my steps in and having fun going to the spin classes I might even start riding Michonne's bike again because that was fun I was doing that before like going for a little bit of some bike rides but it's kind of scary on the roads and dangerous like People don't care about the cyclists, man. They drive too close. It's scary. I want to ride on the path, but then you're like, you're not allowed to ride on the path. It's scary. But <laughs> just things like that. That's just what I want to do. And then after the show as well, hopefully the weather will start getting warmer so I can focus on going out for nice, like, adventure adventure walks trail walks back in the build, wilderness in the woods you know i like my wood walks um hikes and stuff so yeah i'm just looking forward to that but i am enjoying the process at the minute we're four weeks out not long to go it's exciting i am nervous but i'm also just very excited i'm working so hard to just get on that stage and it's gonna go so quickly so i'm trying to embrace every moment like i'm trying not to be nervous i just want to embrace it like when I'm on that stage I want to make the most of it and yeah just make a memories and I'm, I'm really excited so we're gonna do this I am gonna go to the gym now I'm gonna do posing I've literally got an hour little window where the studio is not got a class and I'm gonna go and practice my posing because we, we need to nail the posing right it's getting a bit cutting it fine now and then um after that i've got cardio so i'm just going to go and do an incline walk on the treadmill and yeah so that is the plan and that is my post-show game plan and yeah i hope you guys have a lovely lovely day i hope you enjoyed this little video in my car and i will see you guys in the next video bye